Okay, I thought I'd record a short review question on the hydrostatic forces on a plane inclined gate. And here's the problem. It states a hinged gate in a dam is inclined at 30 degrees from the horizontal. The gate is 3.2 meters long and 2 meters wide into the page. And it's hinged at point A at a depth of 1.7 meters. And the question wants you to calculate the magnitude of the force, F gate, required to keep the gate closed. And you're told to neglect the weight of the gate. I should emphasize that this is just a problem solution. The link to the theory that underpins this analysis is in a separate presentation, and I'll put that in the comments. As with all these problems, you should start with a free body diagram. And of course, what we're looking at is static equilibrium of the gate, where the sum of the moments are set to zero. And of course, we take the sum of the moments about the hinge about point A, because in that way, we can avoid calculating the hinge forces. So the forces on the gate are the hinge forces, the hydrostatic force of the water, which acts at the center of pressure, and the gate force. Now, actually, there are other forces on the gate uh, that I should mention. There is the atmospheric pressure. The atmospheric pressure acts equally and uniformly on both sides of the gate, so it cancels out. So we don't need to consider it. So to solve this problem, what we need to do is find the hydrostatic force and the location it acts, which is the center of pressure. So the hydrostatic force is the specific weight of the water, the depth of the centroid, and the area of the gate. So here, HCG is the depth of the centroid, and we can get that from uh, simple geometry. Now, the centroid of a rectangular gate is, of course, located at L upon 2. So we can take L upon 2, which is 3.2 meters upon 2, times sine theta, which gives a depth of 0 0.8 meters. So the depth of the centroid is 1.7 meters plus 0.8 meters, which is a total of 2.5 meters deep. The area of the gate is simple. It's 3.2 meters long. And you're told in the problem statement that the gate is 2 meters into the page, so 6.4 square meters. We can now calculate the hydrostatic force, which is the specific weight of the water, HCG times area. Of course, the specific weight of the water is the density of the water times G. So 998 kilograms per cubic meter times 9.81 meters per second squared. The depth of the centroid we just calculated was 2.5 meters, and the area of the gate is 6.4 meters squared. Now we should check our units here. You can see that meters cubed cancels with meters cubed, and we're left with kilogram meter per second squared, which from F equals MA is a Newton, so we get the correct units. So the hydrostatic force works out to be 156.6 kilonewtons. Now we just need to find the location of the hydrostatic force. We need to find YCP. And here I've reproduced a couple of things that we've already calculated, the depth of the centroid and the area of the gate. The location of the center of pressure is YCP, which is minus IXX sine theta divided by HCG, the depth of the centroid, and the area of the gate. Now be careful when you're doing these problems that the angle theta here is the angle of the gate from the horizontal. So it's measured relative to the free surface. And the minus sign here indicates that the center of pressure is below the center of gravity of the gate. That's why I have the absolute signs here. So just to remind yourself, IXX is the second moment of area of the rectangular gate about a horizontal axis that passes through the centroid, so XX. And you can look it up in a table in your book. You've probably done this when you did beam theory, that it's the width of the rectangle times the length of the rectangle cubed over 12. Now, in the problem statement, we're told that L is 
3.2 meters and this gate goes two meters into the page. So we get IXX equals B L cubed over 12, which works out to 5.461 cubic meters. So now we can calculate our location for the center of pressure. Center of pressure is minus IXX, 5.461, sine 30, which is a half. The depth of the centroid, which we previously calculated, was 2.5 meters, and the area of the gate. And that works out to minus 0.171 meters, where the minus indicates that that's a distance below the centroid of the rectangular gate. So now we have the force and its location. We can do our simple static equilibrium analysis that the sum of the moments about the hinge equals zero. And I've arbitrarily taken the sum of the moments in the counterclockwise direction to be positive. So F gate acts at a distance of 3.2 meters from the hinge. And we just calculated this distance here. The location of the center of pressure is 0.171 meters below the centroid. So FH acts at the length of the gate upon 2, that'll be 1.6 meters, plus 0.171 meters, so it acts at 1.771 meters. So applying our sum of the moments, F gate times 3.2 has got to be balanced by the hydrostatic force times its moment arm, 1.771. And we can solve for the gate force, which is the only unknown. So we take FH times 1.771 divided by 3.2. And we previously calculated that the hydrostatic force was 156.6 kilonewtons. That works out to a gate force of 86.7 kilonewtons, pointing downwards normal to the gate. And that completes this problem.